propaganda is a motherfucker. Anybody that's been living in America for the last 10, 15 years, if you're just honest with yourself, you look at the climate of the country, socially and shit like that, you just look at what's going on, you can see that there's been a clear push to make gay rights, trans rights, gay acceptance, all the like. There's been a strong push to make all of that shit the norm, to make it okay. If you're not okay with gays, if you're not okay with trans, there's something wrong with you. It's been getting pushed for 10, 15 years strong. So we get to a point now where Caitlyn Jenner is woman of the year. A man is woman of the year. And no one's up in arms about it. Because people have been bashing in their head for 10 years with the news and the radio telling you, hey, if you're not okay with this, you better get okay with this. So they've broken people. 20 years ago, if you would have asked the average guy walking down the street, hey, how do you feel about uh, gay men and you know gay dudes having sex? The average guy would have been like, Man, what the fuck? That's crazy. That's gross as shit. Fast forward to today, you ask the normal guy in the streets, you'll get an answer along the lines of, man, I don't care what you do in your bedroom, man. As long as you don't bring that shit to me, I don't really care. You'll get something like that. A real PC answer. Understand, anybody that gives you that answer has already been broken. The media has broken them. Because no man woke up one morning and said, man, you know what? The last 20 years, my opinions on gays have been wrong. I need to evolve. I need to change my thinking. No. Watching TV, listening to the radio, watching movies, all of those shit, the news for the last 20 years has brainwashed you. The propaganda machine worked. It told you that this is okay, and now subconsciously, you think that's your own opinion. All that comes full circle to Donald Trump. I've been trying to figure out what's going on with Donald Trump. What, what the fuck is up with this constant 365 hate machine at Trump? Like, why is the media so against Trump for real? Like, I know that they don't think the shit they're saying about him is true. So I'm trying to figure out, yo, why the fuck, why are they doing this shit? I think I figured it out. Donald Trump, he's not anti-gay at all. I mean, if you look at his legislation and shit like that, he's helped gay people, actually. But he's not pro-gay. Or the perception of Donald Trump is that he's not pro-gay. He doesn't like gay people. And in today's climate, that's not okay. You cannot fuck being cool with gay people. If you're not an ally, they will destroy you. Just look at Kevin Hart. In today's climate, if you're not pro-gay and a gay ally, and you're in the mainstream, in the public eye, they will destroy you. Donald Trump comes up, like I said, he's married to a woman, he's got kids, you know, people look at him like a misogynistic, old school man. That's not the kind of man that they want running the country. They want a soft, capitulating, apologizing, you know, a pussy type of guy. Trump doesn't fit the mold. So they decided, man, we gotta go to war with this motherfucker because there's no way we can have the sitting president be not pro-gay. That's four years. And if he gets reelected, that's eight. No way. No, we don't got eight years to wait for the agenda to keep getting pushed. So they decide we're gonna go to war with him. We're gonna unseat this motherfucker. But there aren't but so many gay people. So they know they had to get their numbers up. Black people, sad to say it, easily influenced and easily manipulated by the word nigger and racist terms black people have a real problem with racism so if you throw that dog whistle out there a lot of people will react the mainstream media knew it all they had to do was say that donald trump's a racist and you've got you 20 million black people immediately that hate donald trump fuck the fact that they've been seeing donald trump for 30 years and they didn't think they was racist back then Fuck the fact that The Apprentice has been on, well, it was on NBC primetime for 15 years. Donald Trump was the fucking host of that for 14 of those years. I was living in America. Nobody was talking that Trump's a racist shit back then. Nobody. He starts running for president. The media pushes their narrative. You look around. Everybody's saying the same shit. You get into an argument with one of your friends, average dude. You can get to an argument with a 45-year-old black man at the bar about Trump. 
And I guarantee you that during that argument, this motherfucker is going to say something about Trump's misogynist. Trump is anti-women. It's like, dog. We came here to meet bitches together. You was just talking about her ass and now he's a misogynist? Yo, when it comes to Trump, motherfuckers lose their mind. All common sense and just right and wrong go out of the window. Black and white go out of the window. It's crazy. The media recruited people into a fight, an unjust fight against Trump because he's not helping push their agenda. The gays and the liberal media. Motherfuckers like Don Lemon and Max Kellerman that will... Max Kellerman, a Jew who was just so quick to point out racism to black people and to tell you, yeah, stand up for that shit, fight for this, kneel for that, don't go to work, do, yeah, 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 buck the system. He'll tell black people to do all the things that he himself would never do and he would never tell his children to do, but he'll tell your black ass to do it. Why? Because they don't really give a fuck about you. Stop being fooled. Don't keep fighting a war on behalf of gays and liberal Jews. If you want to come to the conclusion that Donald Trump is a piece of shit, listen, that's your right. But please, come to that decision on your own. Don't let some motherfuckers use you and get you fighting a fight that you really don't have no idea why you're fighting. I'll catch y'all later.